Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. Puck drop just moments away here. They have a chance to close things out. Does that relax them at all? No, I don't think so. I think you feel more urgency. You want to get this over as fast as you can. A sight every hockey fan can appreciate. It's a clean sheet of ice, and we are about to get underway. The quest for Lord Stanley's mug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. From the slot, wrist shot just misses. What a chance, right in the middle. Oh. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Shot sails over the net. And he puts that one aside with ease. Good save by Jordan Bennington. When he was called up from his fourth year in the American Hockey League, he virtually saved the Blues on their way to the playoffs. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Handles the puck. And that one's stopped. The Blues have it against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Petrangelo. Sends it over to Shen. Here they are on the attack, and sends it off course. Edmonton gained possession along the boards. St. Louis looks to attack. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Here's a shot, a quick one here, and look at this, the first goal of the game. Man, I don't even think anyone's really settled into the game yet, and already we have the game's first goal. This is a difficult shot to beat the goaltender with because he's got his whole arm to block it, but he gets it over the blocker, up high on the stick side. St. Louis strikes quickly here in this first period to take a 1-0 lead. Wow, did they come out of the shoot flying? No hesitation, beating the road team at all. Puck picked up by Clefbaum. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Puck sent over to Nugent Hopkins. Looking to make something happen along the boards. St. Louis has it near the wall. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Picks it off in the offensive end. Takes the feed. O'Reilly's got it against the boards. From point blank, gets a stick on it to make the save. Koskinen's confidence had to be shaken after that blowout loss in the last game. But the playoffs are about the game today, and that's a good start. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing the score. Caves won the draw here in the offensive zone. Here's a blast. He scores! Waved off immediately. This is a high stick from the official's view on the ice. This is an almost impossible call for an official to make in live time. He has to determine where the contact is with the puck and stick. Is it below the crossbar or not? That's the determining line. It's moments like this that instant replay has come into effect here in today's game. Oh, uh, they're going to confirm the call on the ice. This is no goal, and the home team and their fans are not very happy. No change in the score as that goal was waved off, and we are ready to drop the puck again. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Edmonton's got possession at center. Quick pass to Cave. Let's it go, and that one's turned away. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Taken by Fabry. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Fabry's going to play it against the half wall. Edmonton's got the puck now. Clefbaum's got it on the offensive end. 
Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Edmonton's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Puck grabbed by Nurse with the blast, and that one flies over the net. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Quick feed to Nurse. Now over to Kara. With possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Cave. Shot comes up with the stop. Picked up along the boards by Kara. Big stop by the keeper. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Slides it over to Sanford. Sanford's got the puck. And he slides it quickly to Gunnarsson. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Koskinen's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Edmonton still down here in the first despite the multiple scoring opportunities. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it to Yurko. Yurko's got it along the wing. Hammers a shot, denies him, he got all of it! The Oilers still have time to get back into it here in this first period. They've had the opportunities, just can't score. Haas has won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Bear. Let's it go. Makes the save. Petrangelo's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Yurko. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Here's the shot. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Puck scooped up by Blake. Save made by the goalie. Edmonton's got the lead in shots. Nevertheless, they still trail here in the first. O'Reilly's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Overshot it. Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. Puck picked up in the open ice. The Blues get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Hammers a shot, and he stands tall in goal. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Clefbaum. Dishes it to McDavid. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Let's it go, and he comes up with it. And now it's grabbed by Bowmeister. Regains possession at center. On the attack along the boards. Here he is from the slot. Too much congestion in front. Shot. Puck picked up by Clefbaum. With the bank pass. They've got numbers. Quick feed to McDavid. And he makes the save. Taken by Cassian. Puck grabbed by Shen. He carries the puck up along the wing. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot! Shuts him down. Sends it over to Neal. Takes it across the blue line. Shoots it with the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Neal. Near the point. Neal's got it in the offensive zone. Moves close to the point. From one point man to another. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Schwartz setting up against the wall. Skates in behind the cage. Off the stick! Dead center, excellent save. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Passes the puck over to Sanford. Let's it go, puts it high. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Along the half wall with the puck. Right in front with the shot. Stones him in front. Denies him again. Nice work in there. After the first stop, he's got to find the puck to save the second. 
Origins had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. Sends the pass over. Denies him in front. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Here's a chance. And that's picked off. St. Louis has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Moves it to Fabry. Blast from the point. Big save by the goaltender. Granlin's got the puck along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Into the corner. Knocked away. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Nurse is moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Nice pass. Big time stop. Russell's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Picked up along the wall by Gunnarsson. Keeps hold of the puck. Beautiful stop with the stick. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Tries to get the puck over to Sundqvist. Let's it fly. And that goes off the face of the goaltender. Russell stick handling in his own zone. Bears got it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Russell. Denies him on the play. Through center along the wing. Off target. Quick pass to Russell. Slides the puck over. Hammers it on net. A little too much height on that. Yeah, maybe take a little bit off and get it on the net. The goalie had to duck. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes the feed. Schwartz plays it into the offensive zone. Snaps one here in the slot. He scores! Vladimir Tarasenko! Oh, I thought he had this, James. He got a big chunk of it, but it just slowly trickled past him and into the net. Edmonton's down despite numerous scoring opportunities here late in the first. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the neutral zone. By number 91. Moves the puck. Assisted by number 17, Ahead of steam now towards the front. Rips it! Too many bodies in the way. 56 seconds. Along the wing up the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Here's a backhand! That goes off the stick! He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Neal's got it against the boards. Shot, and he misses! That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puts it on goal. Gets in front of it. Getting into the later stages of this period, St. Louis seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. Puck scooped up by Falk. Blaze lugging the puck. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Edmonton still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Last minute of play in the Winding down period. the final minute of this opening frame. And there's the save. The Oilers continue to trail despite multiple scoring opportunities here in the late stages of this first period. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. The Blues gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. With the stop.
Edmonton's down, but not out. They've had chances. They just haven't capitalized. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. That goes off a twig. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Dreisaitl swooping in on the attack. Back to the blue line. Sends a pass over. Hammers a shot and comes up empty. Well, there's the horn concluding the first 20 minutes. Time to get a clean sheet of ice. It's 2-0 after the opening frame. Pretty good start for one side. Not so much for the other. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, D-Hack Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Second period set to get underway. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Edmonton's puck possession was pretty poor in that first period. They turned it over way too often. Pretty lucky the score's close. Tarasenko's got the puck in his own zone. Gunnarsson's picking up steam. Shen's going to play it against the half wall and tries to make a diagonal pass to Petrangelo. Tarasenko's got the puck. Hard blast! And the long-range shot goes off target. Yeah, he's going to have to adjust the sights on that one. That thing's off target by a long way. McDavid's carrying it ahead. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Edmonton's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. O'Reilly's won a big draw on their own end. And now it's grabbed by O'Reilly. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. From against the wall into the open ice. Lays out to block it. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Takes a shot and makes the save. Grabs the puck right in front and tries to escape the pressure. Here's an odd man rush. Here's the pass. Whoa. Scores! Three is the magic number. Man, that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. a bad decision by the other team as they get caught in an odd man rush but they don't make any mistake this is a beauty St. Louis has already put up an offensive performance that you'd be happy with at the end of the game here this has been like a practice for them. Everything that they have done has been successful so far. On the attack along the boards. Receives the pass. Big time stop there. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves around along the half wall. Handles the puck. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Here's a short pass to Fabry. Quick feed down low. Moves it to Pareko. Passes right to the front. Takes the feed at the back end. Bowmeister's just got it along the wing. Takes a blast. Scores! James, they might as well put both goalies in the other net there. That's four in a row for them. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped him to the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. And they're going to mix 
it up between the pipes here. Well, I guess you can't pull the whole team, so you just pull the goalie. He's had enough go past him tonight. St. Louis has been on fire here tonight. We're only in the second period, Razor. We start calling this point night. Everybody gets a point. You score, everybody's happy when it's like this. Score. Score by number 21. Cliff Bob's got it in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack. Back to the point it goes. Takes the feed. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Kara. Answers it with an even better save. St. Louis has possession of it now. Puck picked up by Pareko. Gaining momentum up along the side. And now he tries to get it across to Bowmeister. And now he moves it to Bowmeister. Here's a shot, and there's the save. St. Louis takes possession of the neutral zone. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out on the ice. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Carries it across the line. Puts it on net, stopped by the goaltender. The Blues have it from their own end. Folks got it in the offensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Now he takes it over the line. Moves behind the net. And that slides right out to center ice. Dished on over to McDavid. Sends the pass over. They've got the defense outnumbered. Takes the shot. The glove making it look easy on the play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's been demolition derby night. 4 nothing is where we sit. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Makes a save. Cool and calm under pressure. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Great save by the goaltender to get a pad on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Carries it in. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Quick pass to Dunn. Takes the pass. Into the offensive end now. Now a quick pass to Sundqvist. Puts it on net and makes the save. Edmonton's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. Nugent Hopkins wins the draw on their own end. St. Louis will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. Taken by O'Reilly. Too much traffic in the lane. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Benning's taking it from his own end. Puck grabbed by Nugent Hopkins. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Over the line they come. Here they are on the attack. To his teammate, turns it away. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. And not much on that one. Puck still pushing and shoving. The whistle doesn't bring this play to a halt at all. Neal's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Perron's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's 4-0. This has been a one-sided affair right from the get-go. Directed over to Russell. He's got a step. Stays with it for the save. I thought the player really showed a nice deep, but the goalie has great patience. Doesn't overcommit and makes the save. Edmonton's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. Grabbed along the boards by Gunnarsson. 
Here's a shot. Misses over the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Puck scooped up by Kane. Tees it up from the back end. Log jam in front. That's broken up. In front, the puck stopper gets on top, but we'll get a little stoppage in play here, Ray. Yep, goalies are going to jump on it as quick as they can anytime around the front of the net. The Oilers have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but they continue to trail here in the second. Bozak's won the faceoff. Slides the puck ahead to Fabry. And that one's stopped. Quick feed to Bozak. Pass to Fabry. They've got numbers. Here's a chance. And that banks off a stick. Nice pass. Tries to get it over to McDavid. Slides it back to the blue line. Just wide. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Picked up along the boards by McDavid. Here's a short pass to Clefbaum. From the point. Oh, what a stop. Bozak's moving the puck through his own zone. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And it's a quick pass to Tarasenko. Takes that pass back at the point. Moves the puck down low. Slides the puck over. Takes the feed. Big time save on a big time shot. Picking up some steam at center ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one's turned away. Edmonton's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal, but they still trail in the second. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. With possession along the wall. Big time stick save! Edmonton's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hammers it on net. What a shot he scores! Oh, man, the goalie thought he had this cover game. You can tell from his body language, but it beats him, hits the post, that goes in. Well, this took a little bit of a detour and hit the post, but, man, was this quick. Off the pipe and in. back to center ice. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal, try and get another, try and get yourself within shouting distance. Moves the puck. O'Reilly's got it against the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Hammers one from the point. Standing tall with the save. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Edmonton's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake bitten as they trail late in this second period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. St. Louis gains control of the puck. Comes up with a stop. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Sends a pass over. Unleashes a cannon! Makes the save on the slapper! Up along the wing. Receives the pass. On the attack along the boards. Centering pass! Scores! That's Ryan O'Reilly! Close up the wickets, Tendy. That thing's right through your legs. That's a pretty good shot. Goalies hate getting beat through the five hole. The Blues continue to do what they've been doing all night, produce offensively. 
They look like such a better team. Every time they get a chance, I expect them to score. And now he angles it across to Haas. Handles the puck at the point. Nurse is going to play it against the half wall. Makes the save with the trapper. Granlin's got the puck. Flips it up to that. Makes the save. The Oilers seem almost a little frustrated out there as we near the end of the second period. They've had plenty of chances, just cannot convert. Barbashev's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Sunfist moving it ahead. Gets the puck in deep. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. St. Louis has it in the offensive end. Let's one go, and he comes up with it. Taken along the wall by Sunfist. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a pass down low. Pass back to the point. Handles the puck. And now it's over to Gunnarsson. Centering pass. Takes the feed. Can't get it to go. Stops it with the paddle. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Excellent stick work on the play. Yurko's gaining momentum. One minute Second period Almost nearly second in the period. books here. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And he makes the save. St. Louis has it near the wall. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. Dreisaitl's got it along the wing. That goes wide. 11 seconds to go. Six seconds remaining. Four seconds left. That's a beautiful pad save by the goalie there. There's the horn ending the period. I think the goaltender's breathing a huge sigh of relief as the clock turned out to be his best friend. Take more than stylish in the ring with our specially priced items tonight. Our game team starts priced in just $10. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Here we go, third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? St. Louis is able to use their full bench. Coaches love this. Four lines in 6D. They can use everybody with such a comfortable lead. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Let's it go. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Bears got it on the offensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Dreisaitl with the stop. Edmonton sent a lot of good looks on goal, but they still trail early in the third. Shens won it off the faceoff. Sends the pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the pass. And he gets a paddle on that one. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Back at the point. They set it up. Scooped up along the wall by Schwartz. And he slides it quickly to Gunnarsson. Turns it away on the slap shot. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. It's a 5-1 hockey game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone.
And there's a whistle on the play here, stopping it. I'm trying yeah, to figure out where the puck is. of the puck here, James. He's, you can see him working for position. Eventually, he doesn't have it, so he blows it down. The Oilers have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. Moves it to Neal. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Edmonton's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender, trailing early in the third. Nugent Hopkins is quick on the draw. From one end of the blue line to the other. Picked up along the wall by Neal. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends it out right in front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it quickly over to Perron. Perron's got it in the offensive zone. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Neal's got it across the line. Into the corner now. Handles it along the blue line. And the stick, his best friend on that save right there. Here's a chance. Blaze got it behind the net. Just wide of the net. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Caves got it into offensive territory. Takes a shot, just wide. This is one of those nights, it's not going your way, but the puck keeps coming back to you in a scoring position. And now it's grabbed by Gunnarsson. A chance from the slot. Oh, what a save in front. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Still lots of time left in the period. Well, one team sure came to play tonight. We've got a 5-1 game. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton's failed to convert on scoring opportunities, and lots of them here in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Clefbaum. Looks to set up at the point now. Snaps one from the slot, and he went too high on that one. Trying to get it right under the bar, and he zips it up over top of the net. A chance on goal. Stopped by the blocker. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Cave. With possession along the wall. Back to the blue line. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. Puck picked up by Cassian. Blocked in traffic. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Cassian's going to play it to the corner. Oh, and the goalie catches a break there. I'm going to have to get both hands out to count the number of misses he's had tonight. What a long evening. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Misses wide. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. Takes the shot. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Grabbed along the board by Tarasenko. Carries the puck up through center. Pareko's got it against the boards. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Edmonton's got it in the neutral zone. Takes a shot, and he misses. That's a really good scoring opportunity that the goalie doesn't even have to make a save on. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Blues grab possession of the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Puts the puck on net. Oh, target. Picked up along the boards by Pareko. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. On the attack along the boards. Takes the feet at the back end. 
And a great scene. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Sent into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Dishes it to Cassian. Cassian swooping in on the attack. Into the corner of the attacking area. From point blank, gives them nothing in front. St. Louis has possession of it now. And he gains the zone here. Here's an opportunity. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Puts it in deep. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Neal stick handling in his own zone. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Gets in front of it. Edmonton's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Carries it across the line. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. Scores! Pretty deceptive move here. Short little breakaway. He makes no mistake. He must have seen a sliver of room there. He doesn't waste any time. He snaps that past the goalie and capitalizes on the breakaway. St. Louis has been on fire, and they continue to keep the goal-scoring onslaught on here in the third. I think that's the most important thing, James, is they just haven't taken their foot off the pedal. You've got them down. Time to put it away. Here's an odd man rush. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Gunnarsson's carrying it ahead. St. Louis gains control of the puck. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Nugent Hopkins looks around. St. Louis has it near the wall. Slides the puck to play. Moves it around along the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Perron. That goes off the twing. Feeds it up ahead. Carries it in. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Edmonton's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that's taken by the defense. Sean comes up with the stop. Taken along the wall by Gunnarsson. Rips it from the blue line. He scores! Off the defender and into the net. Uh, this is a tough one here. The defender thinks he's helping out, but really the puck hits him and goes in the net. The goalie doesn't have a chance. The Blues have really opened it up here in the third period. Impressive offensive performance. It's coming from everybody. They've kept their foot on the gas. It's been in a relentless offensive attack. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Over the line they come. Here's a short pass to Petrangelo. Puts it on net with the stop. Bozak's taking the puck behind the net. And now he moves it quickly to Petrangelo. A chance in front. Here he is on the backhand. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Takes a shot. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. Scooped up along the wall by Petrangelo. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Kara. Big save. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Late 
goings of this period. St. Louis came to play tonight. They've extended this lead, and it is a wipeout. Picked up along the wall by Clefbaum. Back to the point it goes. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. Fantastic save! Shen's got the puck through the neutral zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Nice pass. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, what a stop! Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. They've got the defense outnumbered. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Here's a shot. Oh, he misses the net. Not by much, but I guess it really doesn't matter, right? If it's not on net, it can't go in. Fair point. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken by Shen. This one-sided affair finally nearing the end. Coughs it up at center. Rips it. Turns it aside. Nearing the point. Great glove save. Edmonton's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Haas wins it in the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Denied by the goaltender. 31 seconds to the buzzer. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Barbashev. 20 seconds to go. Easy peasy right there by Smith. Puck grab by Nugent Hopkins. Hammers one. Oh, comes up with a stop. The Oilers need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And it is all over. They're moving on and they're moving on to what every single kid dreams of, playing for the Stanley Cup. I think when you're a kid, James, you dream of the Stanley Cup, you don't realize how hard it is to fight through these three rounds. They are now conference champions. You've been on both sides of the equation for this. Do you like this tradition? I do, James. I think it's really important to show some respect to the team that has just won. It's been a hard-fought series, and you just go through, you say good series, and move on. Clarence Campbell was the longest-serving NHL president for over 30 years, and that bowl named after him right there that they won. Terrific achievement for them. They'll take their picture. They'll either touch it or not. They should. I think you should enjoy the trophy you've won. But everybody's looking at the Stanley Cup. And you can't get there until you win this one. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.